Hello, my name is Jose Fernandez. I'm going to be trying to demonstrate a couple issues with the iOS map app. So you can see I'm running the latest iOS full version. That update that you see there is for the beta version, which I haven't updated to, just so I can make this video with the full working version. No other apps running. Let's start the map app. The first issue that I want to share with you is that if you send, if you come to the Maps app and drop a pin anywhere, let's use this one for example, this is the entrance to a location that I will have to go to or that I need somebody to go there. I drop a pin, I come here, I share, I'm going to send it to myself so we can simplify this video. Hit send. The person will receive the pin. They click on it. They open it. They tell it to take you to it. And in this particular case it didn't it did drop a pin and it didn't make much of a difference because the entrance is right here and uh, it dropped the pin right over there and it dropped a pin very well with the GPS coordinates but as you can see it's not quite in the right place because the pin drop there, the entrance should be here, right? And if I click here, enter the GPS coordinates, bam, puts it right on the right place. So why is that happening? In this particular case, it might not seem like a big issue because it's only maybe 10 meters or so different, so the person will be able to find the location. But let's take a look at some of the other locations that I have sent to myself. I already sent all these locations to me to be able to run through this a little quicker. But let's take an example for this one. It's right there. Come over here. It draws the pin. It gives me the GPS coordinates. So you can see there is really nothing there. That might look like a road, but there is really nothing there. It has the GPS coordinates. Let me drop a pin right here. That's the location that we came to. Let me copy the GPS coordinates from the pin that it dropped from the um, message that I sent to myself. And let's tell it to search itself, right? To search for those GPS coordinates, right? And now it drops it at a completely different location. So it might not seem like a big issue because it's dropping it kind of in the same road and uh, only a few hundred meters difference, but it makes a big difference when you're driving a vehicle in a rural area in these small roads that you're driving a vehicle that is over 60 feet long. It's not a lot of place at a lot of places for you to be able to turn around that vehicle. So you either get directions to the right location or you're completely lost. You're going to have to drive a few miles of the way to find the location. Let's take a look at another one. Um, this was the last one. Let's take a look at this one. Come over here and it's gonna come over here and look at this. It did not drop a pin. It actually found the correct location because the location that I'm trying to come to is this one right here. It's this entrance right here. So it centered the map and it's showing me the accurate place, but it didn't drop a pin. Let me drop a pin. Let me come back over here. If I come over here, and I, instead of clicking that, I copy this, and I were to come back over here, paste that, eliminate the extra letters that are not numbers, Eliminate all the extra text to get the GPS coordinates. Bam! It drops it in the right location. And it drops a pin in the right location. So it is telling me to go to the right place. But if somebody doesn't exactly know where they're going and it didn't drop a pin, they're going to be here looking and wondering, okay, where does it want me to go? Because, if 
I come over here, let me remove this pin. I s drop a pin, I share it with somebody. Let me do it again. I drop a pin, I share that pin with somebody. This guy is going to be me again. Send it. Let me remove this. Beautiful. Get the pin, come over here, click on it, and again, no pin. It works okay sometimes because sometimes you can come over here and instead of clicking in the home page for it to take you to the location and drop a pin. If you do directions, it'll take you to the right place. But in the other hand, let's try this one again. Is that the right one? No, that's not the right one. The one that I want is this one. No, that's not the right one. Yeah, let's try this one real quick. If I tell it to give me directions, it'll give me directions, but as you can see the problem, it's either going to give me directions before or after the pin because this directions is going to tell me to stop like half a mile before I drop the pin or if I choose this other set of directions it's going to give me directions to go past half a mile from where the pin is actually dropped it might not seem like a big issue again but that is a very big issue in these rural small areas small roads where you really don't have a way to turn around especially a vehicle that is over um, over 60 feet long and weights over 80,000 pounds um, it's not as easy to turn the vehicle around and I use only three pins here to demonstrate that it to try to demonstrate that but uh, it happens most of the time uh, a lot of times it's even worse it won't even put it in the correct road uh, it happened whether I drop a pin or I can come over here and um, uh, Let's try this forest oil. It even happens with locations that one has saved. In the favorites, you can see right here where the location is. Uh, if I come over here and uh, I share this pin. Hmm. I get the pin and share it. I come over here and again look at that. It's gonna tell me no results found. Oh, this is another issue. I'm glad that this happened. I'm glad that this just happened. This has been happening a lot since iOS 9. Um, let me click here back to maps. So you can see Sometimes it's going to tell me that I didn't find no results at all, right? And there is... Why did it put me somewhere in the middle of the sea of... Uh, Beringo of Moor, whatever that is. That is somewhere in the other side of the planet. Come on, go back to satellite. That is somewhere in the other side of the planet. That is very, I'm glad that that happened because that has been happening. I noticed this been happening a lot with, um, since iOS 9. The funny thing is that I can come back here. That just happened. You saw what happened. And come back here, come back there, click on it. And this time it is actually going to find a location, right? But as you can see, the location I was trying to come to is this one right here. It's entrance right here. But look where it dropped the pin. 
not even in the same roads. Close enough, but not in the same road. A lot of times it happens even worse where it will drop the pin somewhere in a road over here, which is not even close. This one I can still find. But if it drops it, or if I have one of my next uh, most inexperienced guys working for me that night, and it drops a pin in a road over here, and the location that they need to go is over here, they're not going to find it. Um, let's try to do that again. Um, Forens Oil, Winway here. Belhain, Manfor, Smith Tinsley. Let's go to Smith Tinsley. I love this one too. Smith Tinsley is, a, is another really funny one too. Look where the pin is from my safe locations. This is the entrance right here. You can see the little gate right there. And I come over here, share that with somebody. In this case, it's gonna be me. By the way, this happens, I'm sending this to myself, and you might think like, well, there is a problem when you're sending it to yourself, it's creating some kind of conflict or whatever. The issue is that if I was sending this to another phone, it will happen, the, it would happen the exact same way. It has no, uh, it makes no difference. Okay, so, I got the location. It's even here showing that it is in the right location, right? Well, when I come over here and I click on it, well, it's making me look bad right now, but trust me, usually, usually it puts it somewhere over here. Let me see if I can replicate that by dropping a pin. So if I drop a pin and I share that drop pin, which is in the same location, Drop the pin, get the pin, come over here, come over here, and there it is. The entrance of the drop pin that I share is right over here. This is the road over here. This is the entrance. This is where I drop the pin right over here. This is where I put the pin. So you can see. Look at those GPS coordinates. Okay. Look at the GPS coordinates for the drop pin. Look at the GPS coordinates over here. I'm going to select those GPS coordinates. Select. Copy. Cancel. I'm going to drop a pin over here, right beside the one that was dropped from the uh, message that I sent to myself. I'm going to come over here. Exit out of that, paste the coordinates that I copy, hit select, and look at that. Now it drops the pin in the correct location. The issue with that is that a lot of times when it drops the pin, it doesn't give you the GPS coordinates. And if you're lucky enough to give you the GPS coordinates, uh, a lot of times it drops it in the correct location. So there were four issues that we ran through. One, it doesn't drop the pin when you share a pin, when you drop a pin, or even from a safe location, when you share it via text message or iMessage with somebody, it will not drop the pin when they click on it. They come over here and they click on the home page so it will take them to the correct location or even if they hit directions, it will give them directions to the incorrect location, like, for example, look at this right now. It's dropping the pin in the correct location, but it's giving directions to either after or before the uh, correct location. This one is close enough that somebody can still find it that way, but uh, if they made the mistake of, come this, of coming this way, and they go past that curve right there, and they come all the way down here, and they realize there is absolutely nothing there, they're completely not lost. There is no back in a vehicle that is over 60 feet long all the way back here. Um, if they come over here, 
yeah, they probably go a little farther and they realize that, oh, that's the location I need to come to. But it's either giving directions to or it's dropping the pin in the incorrect location. For example, if I come over here, instead of telling it that I want directions, it's going to drop the pin in the, correct lo in the incorrect location. I come back over here and I tell it that I want directions, it's going to drop the pin in the correct location, but the directions are incorrect. If I come over here and do the same thing, but I go here and I tell it to give me directions, again, it's going to drop the pin in the correct location, but the directions are incorrect. The step-by-step -step directions are either past the location or short the location. Um, that was one issue. The other issue is that sometimes it doesn't drop a pin at all. You can click um, either here and click to give you directions. And it is going to give you directions. And I think it's giving me directions to the correct place. But if I want to see where the location is at before I ask it for directions, and I click here, so it will drop a pin. Yes, it shows me the correct entrance. This is the place that I want to go to, but it didn't drop a pin. Um, another issue is, for example, this one, where it will drop the pin in the incorrect location, that's only a couple hundred meters, um, a few meters difference, but it's still dropping it in the incorrect location. Let's try one that is a little farther away. No, not that one. Yeah, let's try this one. And you see, it dropped the pin, he gave me the GPS coordinates, so it's fairly easy. Select that, copy, cancel. Mm. If I exit out of this, it's going to eliminate that pin, so let me drop a pin right here. Let's clear out of that. Let's repaste the GPS coordinates. And now it takes me to the right location. Um, the issue with this is that I haven't found any location right now where it doesn't give me the GPS coordinates. So it's fairly easy when I come over here and I uh, click on it. And it takes me to it and it drops a pin and it has the GPS coordinates. The problem with it, the issue with it also is not dropping the pin in the correct location is that this one has the GPS coordinate and it's very easy to just come over here and copy the address, right? I mean, copy the GPS coordinates, right? But the problem is that most times it will only have the address. The problem with addresses in these rural areas like this is this. Um, let me drop a pin right here. So if it only gives me the address and I don't have the GPS coordinates, and I happen to copy the address to try to find the correct location. Well, that one made me look very, very bad. Very, very bad. Uh, let me try that again. Paste. Oh, right here. This is why, because this is recent locations, and this is the actual location. Oh, man, it's making me look bad. Well, anyhow. I'm not going to try to replicate that issue for you guys, you're just going to have to take my word for it, uh, for it because it doesn't happen all the time as you can see. Uh, but sometimes if you try to only copy the address, let me see if I can come over here and do it over here. If I try to copy the address from here, mm -hmm, and I paste the address there, and it's going to search for it, it's making me look really bad. It's making me look really, really bad. Let me try one of the old locations. Um, let me try this one. I know what this, what that one is. Uh, yeah, let me try this.
this one. Let's see what happens when we click here. Again, it didn't drop a pin. I know which location is that one. Okay, let me try this one. Okay, that one seems to be finding the correct location. Let me see if I can use this one right here, right? If it doesn't give me the GPS coordinates and I come over here, select all, copy, cancel, accelerate that. Okay, it's dropping the pin in the correct location. Let me see if I can close the app real quick and it'll replicate the issue. Okay, so I'm having issues duplicating that issue that if I paste the address here in a rural area, it won't find the correct location. Maybe you guys fixed this and last time that I had this issue sending a pin to somebody and for them to find the correct location is not duplicating it. I don't understand why. Uh, but it is an issue sometimes that, especially on these rural areas, uh, I can type an address and it just won't find the correct location. Let me uh, let me try it another way. Let me come over here. And I'm sorry the video is so long. It's just I'm trying to get all these issues in one video. Uh, Viking. Okay, so I have an address right here. Let's see if it'll find the correct location. Mm -hmm. um, no, it's still kind of the same place. The actual entrance is right here. But uh, it's dropping the pin over there, so it's fairly close. But a lot of times, the issue is that if I put an address like that in some of these rural areas that are not anywhere close to a major city, instead of dropping the pin within a, only a couple hundred feet difference, it can drop the pin all the way over here. Maybe that's an issue that you guys had fixed because it actually has been a while since I saw it, but I just wanted to let you guys know. I hope this video helps to um, demonstrate a lot of the... Uh, issues or things that happen when you're sharing a pin via via text or um, iMessage or any other way with somebody where it doesn't drop a pin or it drops a pin with the GPS coordinates and the GPS coordinates are correct but the pin is in the incorrect location if you ask it to give you directions it gives you directions either before or after the point of interest of the correct location that you want to get to um, a lot of times um, it might drop the pin only a couple hundred feet difference but it's kind of hard sometimes if you're driving a vehicle that is extra long which that's what most people are doing in this rural in these rural areas is driving 18 wheelers which are too big to be able to turn them around in these little roads like this and you're in the middle of nowhere right here these little roads you're not gonna turn a vehicle you have to go all the way and find yourself another way to come around uh, I hope this helps demonstrate a lot of those issues thank you guys